Hello and welcome to Bio Mutant on the Xbox Series X. Our first look. We've never played it before. I've never even seen a trailer for this game. So this will be interesting. It'll certainly be different. Now it won't be playing at uh, 4K uh, 60 or 4K 120, whatever this game is. It'll be playing at 60 on my TV and 30 on the stream. Because, um, you know, Twitch doesn't like um, 4K anyway. Um, so it's downscaled for Twitch. My apologies. So don't judge a book by its cover in this case. But we shall see what it's like. Oh, it's Unreal 4. Cool. I've yet to delve into Unreal 4, actually. Uh, I have it installed, but I have not. A very small percentage of individuals may experience epileptic seizures when exposed to certain light patterns or in flashing lights. Exposure to certain patterns or backgrounds on a computer screen or while playing video games may induce an epileptic seizure in these individuals. Certain conditions may induce previously undetected epileptic symptoms, even in persons who have no history of prior seizures or epilepsy. If you or anyone in your family... I didn't get to read it. Bastard. Well, what? I don't know what's going to happen now. What do you mean? Me or anyone in my family? What? You know. Adjust the brightness until the image is barely visible. Oh, well, fucking hell. That would have really cranked the brightness on this one. Okay. So I have to really crank the brightness. Ooh, hello. I'm playing a small... Hello, cruel! Playing a small... Insect. No, I'm playing a fuzzy creature. I don't understand. Bio mutant. Okay. All right. Maybe you should have a proper gun. Okay, so what? Dead right off the bat? Uh, select language. Um, let's go with Indonesian. Uh, maybe English. No, we'll go with English. That, that's probably better. It's doing a lot of saving. It's saved four times so far. How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Okay. Welcome to Biomutant. It's a bit bright. I don't think that uh, camera shake. Uh, yeah, that can come off right away. Field of view. Yeah, that can go up to 90. Right away. Depth of field. Off. Because I don't want to vomit. Um, camera sensitivity. Well, we'll... We'll up that to, what, 200 to start with? I can always take it higher. Smoothing. What the fuck is smoothing? I have no idea. I'll leave that one. Um, don't know what music is like. Frequency, nature, subtitles on. Video, brightness. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that this scale thing works. Because sharpening amount. Hello, game daughter. Let's go with 30. I don't know. Forward, 
backward, left, right, jump is A, B is dodge, click the left stick is run, right stick, okay, X melee, shoot right trigger, reload right bumper, reload right bumper? What kind of... Nah, 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 nah. Melee could be right bumper. Reload could be X. Uh, okay. Um, parry, left bumper, yep. Wung Fu. Okay. Y button, interact, Y. Consumables, melee, ranged, transport. Toggle ability, hold. Okay. Accessibility. Uh, 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 toggle with the dialogue should auto advance without any player input. No. I don't want to auto advance. Subtitle size, medium. Subtitle color, let's go with yellow. Subtitle background. Ah, no worries. I know that you, you're you busy playing this as well, Miss Tart, so I do not blame you if you do not wish to be here. No worries. We love your face. Um, sure. Um, sure. Sure. Okay. New game. Um, medium. I have no idea. Is that the default? Hello. Beep bop. Beep bop. Beep. Bloop. 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 Hello. Hello. Who's a fuzzy looking fella? Primal is a nimble developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of lesser developed intellect. Dumden. Dumden is the latest development of anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Rex. Rex is an extraordinary developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with an even, even DNA string making it out for both physical and mental challenges. Hylas. Regenerative developed anthropomorphic breed with a hybrid gene mutation making them extremely tough and resilient. F Ugh. FIP is a breed renowned for highly evolved minds. Its genus is directly interlinked with the power of key, which amplifies their psionic output. Mergle. Uh, idealized breeds evolutionally has gone direction where form and appearance is dominated over function. So, I don't want any of those. Can I not make my own? Can I not make my own? So it's Moron, Big Tough Moron, uh, I guess maybe Rex, yeah, go with Rex, I suppose. Define your, char your character's starting attributes to see more detailed explanation what effects. Okay. Define your genetic structure. Intellect. Agility, strength, vitality, charisma. Is this not just like... I mean... I'm just going to go for in the middle. Because this is just... This is just... This is just stupid. I don't like it. No. No, I'm just I just want the just get just all right, make me slightly more intellecty. And slightly more agility -ty -ty. Agility 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 we'll go with agilitities. No, I don't like that. No, I'm just gonna go there. Choose a genetic resilience. Right, genetic resilience. Well, um, I kind of. I'm just, just gonna go. You're a heat slinky. I'm a heat-seeking slinky, but I'm just gonna go with like ba smack bang in the middle. Like I'd rather be sort Choose of. Who's your first style? 
your first style. Okay. Okay. Okay, why don't they just give you, like, a list? Because I'd rather have a list of my f of stuff that I can then go through and pick. This weird kind of moving the cursor around thing makes no sense to me. Okay. Pick your main colour. Pick your main colour. I don't understand this concept of customization they've got going on. It's so weird. It's so weird, I don't know what's going on. Not at the moment I'm making panda, apparently. Um, I want black! You won't let me do black! You bastard. Fine. I won't have that, then I will go... Panda. Oh, talk, about panda. talk about panda. Hello. Yeah, look, I'm making you, apparently, panda. I don't know. Choose your detail. Choose your detail color. Well, I'll I'll have uh, uh, green, please. That way I'm stealthy. Look, you can't tell. Manifested me to existence is what it does. Yeah. I don't understand. This is a very strange game. It's, it's a very strange game indeed. Okay. Pick a class. Pick a class. Commander, Psy Freak. Uh, I have no idea. I'm just. I'm Sentinel. Just... Mercenary. Mercenary. Hello, Mercenary. Oh. Whoa, what's up, Mercenary? I will chop you up. Dead eye. Uh, oh, that was to change the brightness. Yes, I know. I'm going to go Cyphreak. I was just looking at what the others did. <laughs> you know very well I'll be going, mage. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, I'll be going. <sighs> Master the Art of the Blade, yes. Yes, Dead Eye, yes. Shooting stuff, yes. Commando, yes, yes. Cyphreak. Yes, probably going to be that one. Sentinel. I mean, I'm getting Shea Guevara vibes off that one. Panda Guevara. Yeah, Panda Guevara. S so, Sentinel. Panda Guevara, right? Saboteur. Uh, saboteur. Uh, although. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sampter is cunning skilled explorer trained to operate covertly in both suburbs and wilderness. Twin silver grip melee dual wield skill equipped two different one handed melee weapons to deal, dual wield them. Your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. Psy freak. Um, psy freaks are experimenting with psionic powers and mutations. They're usually outcasts on the fringe of society. Right, yeah, that's me down already. Right, to shoot a spark ball, press down the input you have found the ability to. It will make you throw the ball in a direction you are facing, inflicting damage to the enemies you hit. Your key energy regen is increased by 20%. Sure. Psy freak chosen. Yeah, I know. Not even Castle Flipper. We haven't got the money to get it yet, actually, Rockwell. Um, but um, we will be getting it. But probably. Right, so that's my person. He's got a very fluffy tail. I don't like... I want to be able to customise the person. Right, hydrate. Okay, we'll do, we'll do. Hydrating. Coffee. Right, so, player movement. To move, use left stick. Okay. To look around, use right stick. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's floof time. Not time to unleash your inner floof. Okay. So just hydrating in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Hello, Summer of Corn as well. Hello, hello, hello to everyone that's come by. Great to see you all here. I hope everyone is doing well this evening. OK, 
Okay, no, the brightness does have to go up. I don't like this fucking... Yeah, I'm going to bring that down to 24. I'm going to take the brightness up. See, it's either to... This is my problem with HDR. I don't like HDR. I've never... Like, like that's way too bright. What the fuck? I hate HDR. I really hate... Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Let's try 62. Like, it's looking... It looks washed out now. Like, this fucking HDR bullshit. HDR needs to just go. I, it's it's me. I'm I'm funky. I, I don't like HDR. I've never seen a game in HDR and thought, oh yeah, this looks so much better than without HDR enabled. But HDR, it, it makes things like that looks too kind of like it still looks washed out in places and too dark in others. It's just yeah. I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunny hop. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Okay. Okay, so what are my choices? But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Okay, dark red is in strength and power. Or call me light blue for freedom and loyalty. Oh, I'm freedom and loyalty. Um, my TV's HDR network error. What? What? Hello? Did... I'm still live? Is it still going? What happened there? That's weird. According to Streamlabs, nothing's happened. But Niddy's got nothing. I've got nothing. I've lost the uh, stream chat. That's weird. That's really weird. What the hell's going on? Okay, I'm back. That's just weird. Don't like that. Um, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, now my TV's HDR's, uh, what, 1000? I think it might be even higher. I think it's whatever the um, 7 series is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like freedom and loyalty. Well, I don't know. That's kind of... Yeah, I'd, I'm. I'm. Get, uh, we always pick a good path first, so I'm assuming freedom and loyalty is good. I don't know. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Okay. Bye. That's right. Light is only for those having difficulty seeing what's in front of them. Sticking to the me first part. Is the only way we'll be going. I oh, see. No, I can't. How about neither? How about fuck yourself? Uh, I'm surprised at the change of heart. I believe in putting yourself aside to help others, but helping the dark side is not that, you know. Well, I don't want to listen to him. You can't fight who you really are. The blood is obviously the running red in our veins. It's that the light very fucks up the past. <laughs> You're trying to keep us in the dark here, but you know it's blue blood in our veins and what it means. See, we have responsibilities. You can't fight the truth. How about? Um, neither. Right, I'm going back. See ya. I don't want to be on either side of you. You're all bastards. I have no idea. I'll just go this way. Right is always right. Okay, I usually go left, but sure. Steve says uninstall 
Yeah, uninstalls. Play a different. Oh, what the fuck was that? Hello? Hello? Yeah. I don't want to listen to either of them. Of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Examine the gno- you mean goat. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Fur's a bit weird looking in this game. for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. Okay. Really I think I'll be lurking and popping in and out to see if all the luck works. Ah, no worries. No worries. Thank you for the lurk, sir. Thank you very much. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Okay. Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. Aim the carrot towards an enemy to target them with ranged attacks. Reload your weapon, press X. Use your ability, press the button it's bound to while pressing and holding the left trigger. To throw a sparkling ball of key energy that damages an enemy it hits, hold the mutation, select, and press Y. Okay. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing special attacks. When you're out of key energy, you'll be unable to perform these actions. Your key energy regenerates, both in and out of combat. Lightning, fuckers! Taste my lightning! Ooh, I'm out. Ooh. Yo, run away! I don't know, it, it told me to run, so I usually do what it says at the start, but... Hello, Seahawks! Oh, Mike. Oh, skill freeze. Okay, you've got to just dis dif uh, differentiate, Nitty, because there's two. Yeah, just say Vandal, because I only know him as Vandal. Hey, Vandal! Ah, well, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm going to stop right there. That's it. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, that's the end of the stream. We're going to go and sp <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Right, okay, so our health regenerates over time, it seems like, as well. Um, can't shoot those things down. Fair enough. Uh, okay, so it's fairly smooth movement. Hello? Hello? Okay? Okay, pasta? 
Hello, I'm a box. Ooh, electric module. Oh, weapon add-on. You found a special effect add-on. Attach to your ranged weapon to give it extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some enemies have a resistance or weakness to different weapon special effects, so use them wisely. Ooh. Okay. Right. Attach special effect add-on. Select it through the consumable quick menu. And open the menu. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, no, I've got a gun, I think. It's a gun and a, a, a punchy thing. I've got a gun and a punchy thing. You found a medical medical supply. Bags like this contain items that can help heal your... Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. You have to use consumables or find other ways to heal. Oh, okay. Alfredo. Um, sure, I'll take all of them. Thanks. You can use bandage by holding up. And the quick menu selecting it. Right, okay. So, quick menu, health, and other things. Okay, cool. Right. So, hello? Hello? Oh, toilet. Interact. Oh, yes. A health patch from a toilet. Yes. That's exactly where I'd want to get my health packs from. I mean, that sounds just... Yeah, it needs to be co-op. That was what we, we were kind of hoping it was co-op, but um, it's not, which is a shame. Um, Nothing like a little exercise. <laughs> oh, okay, so you just press forwards and up. Right. Okay. Fair enough. You know who the voice reminds me of? Uh, the oil sludges everywhere. To yeah. most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. It's the Fenwall voice. It's not. Yeah, it's not. I am fighting from inside a corpse. This, uh... The narrator does not sound like me at all. You're crazy. Fallen enemies can often be looted for healing items. Find a highlighted fallen enemy and then press Y. Remember to use healing items when you're wounded. To open the items, like yeah, you've told me that three times, fucker. All right, energy pack, medium. Sure, I'll take all that. And a tongue tickly. I found a tongue tickly. Look at my little ninja badass. Okay. I'm assuming this stuff is dangerous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can die doing that. Oh, look! Oh, no! Oh, no, it's slowly wearing off. I'm back to normality! Alright, cool. Right then, let's... Oh, wait, 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 that was kind of cool. Oh, okay, so you can latch onto the environment. Okay, cool. Yeah. British Petroleum's oil spill has decided to make all fluffy animals into monsters. Oh, cool. Good. Okay, so you can't wall run, really. But you can kind of wall latch. Okay, cool. That's kind of funky, I suppose. Alright. Hello. Open, says me. Yes, there was the Exxon Valdez and You want to mess with me? I shoot you! Ooh. 
Um, sure. A dainty. I'll take all that. I've got a dainty. I don't know what a dainty is, but I've got one. Now look. I could jump in there and die. Let's do it. No, let's not. Um, not yet. Open says me. Hello? Hello? I'm here for your loot. Do you have any loot? If you have any loot, give it now. Ah. Doors. Okay. Ooh. Flowers. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that X one was nasty. Yeah, I remember that uh, happening. Uh, there was, there, there's been so many oil spills over the years, though. Like nasty, nasty fucking stuff. Like, there's a reason it should stay buried. All right, it's all gone dark. You know. Uh, oh, hello. Large shields and break the shield melee attacks from guild damage to the enemy. Okay, yeah, it would have been nice for you to not stop right there. Come on. Look, big guy. I will beat you to death. Don't even think about it. Get down. Know who you're messing with? I'll take that dainty. Thanks, buddy. Come out of here like you're going to do something. Get out of here. Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Is that short for experience, by any chance? Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wung Fu and Perks menu. To go to the menu, press the Start button. I have reached level 2. Can you hear? Alright, press Start. Um, character, level up. When you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. Pick which attribute you want to increase from the list. Okay. So, vitality is health and armor. Strength is melee damage. Intellect is power, key energy, and energy regen. Agility is movement speed. Um, charisma is barter. And luck is crit chance and loot chance. Well, shit. Because I kind of want, uh, from the looks of things, I'm going to want a lot of luck, a lot of charisma, a lot of agility, intellect, strength, and vitality. So, um, let's start with, since I'm punching stuff a lot, it's over 9,000 strength. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm funky. Upgrade point. You can you'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. So uh, the start button is the one with the three lines on it. It was the start button on um, the Xbox 360. So we've just stuck with it. Time to unlock your first special attack. Select close or ranged combat. Well. Let's go with ranged combat. Guns. Crane dance. Um, B, right bumper, right trigger. Oh, God, no. A, A, right trigger. I don't want any of those. I got close combat. Unarmed. Unspeakable hand. Right bumper, right bumper, Y. Oh god, this game's going to be a lot of button combinations. I'm not going to remember any of this. Ah, uh, no worries. You can now perform your special attack when you have the correct weapon type equipped. Once you've unlocked more attacks, you'll be able to combine them to reach Super Wang Fu state. The name of the game is Mash All the Buttons. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with Mash All the Buttons. Because I, I can't do anything else. I, I don't have the memory to be able to remember combinations of things. Yep. 
Once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and special attacks in the Wang Fu perk menus. Okay. 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 I'm somewhat light, apparently. Okay. Ooh, I have gear. In this section, you can change equipment and weapons. The circle icon represents the part of the body that can be geared up with the equipment found and bought from vendors. Your favorites can be saved in the outfits menu. Okay. So, let's go face. You can sort your gear according to different stats. You can scrap highlighted piece of gear for crafting resources. Okay. No items for the face. Torso. Okay. Is that the one I've got? Ah! I'm naked! Ooh, that was close. Nearly got demonetized for being naked. Ah! I'm naked! Ooh, ooh that was close. No, I can't do it. I can't. Yeah, there'll be there'll be much mutton bashing in this one, I'm afraid. There'll be no quality gameplay here. <laughs> it's the app front menu where you can create and save different gear setups. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's your outfit. Okay. Automaton. The automaton has accompanied you since you were a kidling. A little chidling. Its old world tech makes it a potent communication device. But these scraptronics also have advanced features. Functions. Flashlight. Uh, uh, appearance. Autom okay, so there's different appearances for stuff. Map. Right. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at all that lovely stuff. Oh, I love it. All right. Okay. So here we are. We've done stuff. Oh, he's got stuff for me. Hello. Confectionicious. Health regen. Oh, fucking hell. 150. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't mind free stuff. Kaboom. Oh wow, It'd take a while to do that. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. I have a crowbar. Old world clawbar. No, crowbar. Crowbar. It's a crowbar. Okay. It's not a, a claw, it's crowbar. I like the uh, compass in the bottom corner. That's kind of cool. It's a bit small. Um, further down, exit the room. Okay. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Crowbar. It's a crowbar. Oh, right. I have to do this. Right. Okay. Okay, you're on your way to performing a special attack. Possible special attacks are prompted in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Pressing the directional, the indicated input, while it is shown, will trigger your special attack. Well, I just headbutted a wall. So it's that... time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Well, I hope you don't uh, expect me to find a way out of this place. I can barely find my way out of uh, uh, bed in the morning. I mean, good lord, man. You're expecting a lot of me. I don't even know what's bloody going on. Mm. Hello. The morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. I'll get off me. Just what you were looking for. Ooh, you shit. Ah. 
You've absorbed a bio blob. There are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers in various places around the world. You can use bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time by accessing the mutations part of the menu. Excuse me. I want stuff. Give me stuff. No stuff? You bastards. I just want stuff. You shits. How dare you not give me stuff? I clearly want stuff. Okay. No, I'm not going to give me any stuff for that one. Alright, it was a bit of a shitty fight. I didn't do so well on that one. Ah, I'm climbing up a, a chain. Not a rope, it's a chain. Chain, Eli. Chain. Look, it's clearly a chain. Ooh. I say, I say, I say. No! Damn it. Alright. There's clearly something up there. I want it. I want it! I want it right now. I wonder. Maybe if I go this way along? Ah, it's a metal rope. Okay, cool. Hello. I knew there was something up here! Ha ha ha! Ooh, health back. 150 for 10 seconds. Okay, good take. Cool. Alright, I'm safe up here. This is where the game ends. Um, checkpoint, save game. So it's save whenever you want. Whee! Save once, save panda. Save once, save panda. Uh, right. Strange, because you can run on the walls like Prince of Persia. Right, okay. doesn't seem to run on the walls. He just kind of... He latches on briefly, but he doesn't run on the walls. Or she, or it, or them. I don't know what pronoun you furries prefer. What do you prefer? Fuzzy shit. Fuzzy shit. Right. So fuzzy shit can't really latch... It can latch onto the wall, but it seems to run on the wall. Oh, no, don't apologise. No, it's, it's fine. I was just trying it out, seeing if it worked. And that's all. That's what I found out. So far, anyway. Maybe there's an ability later on, I don't know. Don't know. I, I don't even know what this game's about, to be honest. As I say, uh, Nitty just heard that there was fluffy pandas, and it was like, that's it, we're getting it. So that's that's exactly why we have this game, for no other reason. Actually, I blame Steve. <laughs> yeah, Nitty blames Steve. So. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks travelled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Okay. Hello? Stuff? Puzzles. You've found a puzzle. They're scattered around the world. Some puzzles open paths, while other features are different rewards. Switch the node, select left stick. Uh, okay. Use rotate the nodes. Okay. Uh, this is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Okay. Each node has a certain position it must be rotated into to complete the puzzle. Rota running out of moves before that may have consequences. Right, so what am I supposed to do? Uh, have I got to link... Just a few moves left. Make them count. Like that? Okay. Fair enough. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. 
that's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Okay. So, just... Real life then? Got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm here for the loot! Anybody got any loot? The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. Okay. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Oh, okay. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Okay. So that one's good. Other way around. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. Alright, so this is just rotate, make the colours match up so far. I'm assuming these puzzles get a little bit more complicated later on. Okay, no worries, no worries. Hello. Who are you? Perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their head, and after hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up into the air by pressing left bumper. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. The wheeled one is outnumbered. We better help him out. All right. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one mm -hmm. before backup arrives. Miles Morales. I don't know what that is. Okay. Ooh, stuff. Good, 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 good. All oh, right. Okay. Hello. Sorry. Where did he go? Oh, he went over there somewhere. Well, that's not where I want to go. I want to get loot. You bastard. Oh, is there stuff up there? Can I not climb this? Is this not climbable? Am I too stupid to understand how to climb a rope? Apparently. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Have fun. Douchebag. I want to climb the rope. No, don't shut the door. Oh, damn it. Now I'm locked in with a weird old man. Hello. A new friend, an old friend. Hello. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Okay. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Fair enough. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. 
There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Okay. How keto? The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. Um, scar, uh, remember what? How Looper Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. Okay. <laughs> it was after the attack <laughs> yeah, that right. the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. I don't like the fact I can't pick multiple things to find out what's, the, what's at stake. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Um, sure, I saw it about 30 seconds ago in the, the, the thing. By default, dialogues are set to advance from one NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance the dialogue, you can select change this. Yeah, well, I've already done that. Way back in the long ago, when I had a very funky looking hat. Right, and here I am. What ah, Jumping through stuff. What ah, Check me out. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. I haven't got a gun now, though. Apparently, don't have a gun. I'm not allowed a gun. Small children shouldn't have guns. Probably a good thing. Ah, bloody hell, there's a bloody great big horrible barrier in the way. Let me out. No, I'm not going over there. Something horrible is going to happen. I don't want to go and have something horrible happen. You bastards. Fine. Let's run over here then. I'm not here. You can't remember me. I'm Dizabut. No. Oh. Right, okay. Cool. I mean... Funky looking graphics. Bong, 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 bong. There's no bells there, so they probably don't make a noise like that. But I'm going to go with it anyway. Best before. Hello. My name's Elvis. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Moomer knows you are here. I hope I told her. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. I have no idea. It's Elvis. It, it's clearly just Elvis. He understands why you came all the way out here. To see them, the potato people. Potato? We're getting to see potato people? What? There are potato people in this game? Oh, this is the game. Oh, this is the best game ever if there are potato people. <laughs> the potato people, or no, 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 no. I would wonder, somehow no. interlinked with this little tree here, fueling its source of life. Um, no, no, potato people is better. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. I'm here telling you about my excellent source key. It's potato people. Uh-huh. 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 The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Well, that's a bit mean. I'm not sure I want to do that. Yeah. What? I have a funny feeling that he's a douche. Yeah, I mean, if these people are all doing that, why would I ruffle some stuff and get them to pop out? That's just mean. Maybe they don't want to be bothered by mean weird Elvis monsters. Keep your weird Elvis monsters here. Keep your... <laughs> to yourself, you weirdo. Strange person. I'll beat you. I'll beat you with my imaginative fists. Ah, look. Fatal fists of fury. You can't stop me. Well, apparently you probably can. All right. Hello. Hello. Running along. Hello? Hello? Apparently I'm coming over here to ruffle you a little bit. Sorry, I do apologise. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. Ruffle? You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Will it grow strong enough? <laughs> <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. That sounds like you're murdering the Nono to put them in the tree. Like... That's just weird. This is just a weird game. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Okay, he wants me to do what to the Nono? And be gentle. And he wants me to be gentle with the Nono. He doesn't want me to touch it in the Nono spot, is what he's saying. Don't touch it in the Nono spot. <laughs> It's like, okay. Oh. There's a banned word there, Summer of Corn. That last uh, statement. Boop net received. The nono. Okay. Hello. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Okay, that's creepy as fuck, dude. Like, there's a weird dude who's... I, I don't know. I don't trust him. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. How many does it need? Okay, so oh, it'll enjoy need a your continuous too. flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come. So, countless, he'd say. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. Okay. Baby turn, better bid. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay. Yes, I run out back to the tree. Run. 
Run as fast as you can. He's a little tiny chiddler. He's a bouncy little fella. He goes, Wada! And then, Wada! Like that. That's exactly what he sounds like, too. Right, he's, he's, he's finding the potato people. We must find the potato people. And we must give them a uh, uh, good touching, apparently. Okay, that's... Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. Uh, I've I just fed a small creature to a tree. I think you'll find I'm a little bit doubtful. You weird Elvis-looking motherfucker. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for yeah, all right. of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. <laughs> You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. Okay. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. Shouldn't make her worry. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. World eaters? Yeah. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. Okay. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod <clears throat> to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. The fact this guy managed Nocto to say this... Nocto has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. Okay. Like, the fact that this narrator managed to say all that with a straight face is impressive. Because there's no way in fuck I'd have been able to go, and at the end of this route was a mook puff with a puffle wiggle. And the way the puffle wiggle did jiggle and wiggle and blibble around, it made his testicles drop right out of his nose. It was most unfortunate without pissing myself laughing. He wants you to understand that you'll all die 
if the tree isn't saved. Okay, how do I defeat the World Eaters? His friends have prepared something specific for each World Eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Okay. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. Okay. Rodnet. Rarity zero. Abnormal. Thank you. Okay. You are a strange person who's got weird blue pumpkins. I think you might have been having too many blue pumpkins, Mr. Elvis. You don't look very Elvisy now, though, sir. Maybe more like John Lennon. You've gone from Elvis to John Lennon. Okay. Unfortunately, more like John Lennon now than... Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of opening a fucking door. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to... Okay. Now I can use the fucking rope. Alright. Fair enough. Hello? Stuff? Free stuff? Any free stuff along here? Hello? Free stuff? No. Not seeing any free stuff. Alright. We're out! Freedom! Bubba Hotep. Yeah. Yeah, Baba Hotep, one of the greatest movies ever know made. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Okay. Bio mutant. <laughs> okay. Presented by Experiment One Hundred One. Jumping down the hill. I know how to run. It's alright, I've been doing that for quite a bit, actually. Oh, hello. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Okay. New mission the signpost. Interact. Hello. Let's see. Did I just ur Did I just urinate on that signpost? Okay. Fair enough. Signposts are found in locations of interest all around the world. You will unlock like a signpost when interacting with it. When peeing on it. You can fast travel to a signpost you've unlocked by selecting it on the map. I don't know. Yep. So, yeah. Apparently I marked my territory. This is now mine! I've put down a flag! I have urinated on this signpost. It is now mine. Everything around this area, everywhere that you can see this signpost from, is now mine. It's all mine. I have weird yellow urine. So just accept it. It's the rules. Do you have a flag? No. Did you urinate on that flag? No. Therefore, it's mine. You can't have it. Hello. He talks in that accent now. And he speaks like that from now on, apparently. That's who he is. I am... The world's great... Holy Jesus, mother and Joseph, that's a big-looking motherfucker. Hello. Oh, you're a bastard. Oi, that come back. must be the world eater that chewed off out of Date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. A hat The trick. world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. Yeah. Energy pack, medium. Uh, take off. I like it when games give you under waterfall access. Good, 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 good. It's always a good idea. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Okay. So it just murdered a bunch of people. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe I should uh, drink less weird glowing stuff too, by the looks of things. Ah, that just seems a little strange. Yeah, no more Sunny D for my character. Just get over it. <laughs> oh, you are a prick. <laughs> you are a prick, sir. A douche and a cat. Hello? Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. You do not look best pleased. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, the murder of the floofs is real. Oh, no. Hello. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Okay, Millie Mog. Okay, your inner balance is two halves that complete a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Few are those who will always act in the same manner, and the wholeness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions creates the aura score, which affects the dialogue with other characters. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Interacting with Cap uh, captives and Psy Shrines will award you the Psy Points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached a required dark or light inner balance. Well, surely you want to stay neutral and not go pure dark or pure light. Because, like an eagle, you need both the left and the right wing to fly. If you want to be a true Jedi Master, you must have the dark and the light in equal balance. Is that not the way, young Padawan? Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. All right, well, side missions are always good. They give me experience. Let me help. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Oh my god, no, will you go away? <sighs> neither. I'm I'm choosing neither. <sighs> Fine. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. I I agree. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Oi! Don't be so mean. Always making this personal. Is trying to pretend it's not. It's not, you bitch. Psy point unlocked. You've gained a psy point. Use it to unlock powers in the mutations menu. Some powers are locked by the aura score, meaning that your psi points can only be unlock powers of the same color as your current aura, or those without color. Okay. Well. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Okay. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy. 
as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Okay. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Oh, God. We're not going to play Destiny, are we? Fuck. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Well, I don't like either of those choices. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Have the tribes engaged the World Eaters? Myriad is convinced that defeating the World Eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Whoa, he's fast. Your current and started quests are shown in the journals at the top menu above. Okay. Uh, can we have a little bit of that? Okay, cool. Right, so I can either join the Jagni or the Myriad. Oh, I've got to, I've got to choose one. Do I have to join one, though? I mean, I don't really want to work with either of them. They're both douchebags. Okay. The tribes are splintered and stand in opposition. Some believe that the World Eaters need to be vanquished and the Tree of Life can be saved, whereas others believe that the impending doom should be embraced and the only way forward is the destruction of the Tree of Life. It's up to you to unite the tribes under one banner, one way or another. Oh. Alright, the Tree of Life is dying. What was once protecting all is now withering and fading. You need to take on the World Eaters and decide the fate of the Tree of Life. Send yeah, right? Life or death, your choice will ultimately be yours and yours alone. You've made it through the wall, out of the Bunker 101. You need to gain the support of the tribe in order to take a stand against the World Eaters. Go to either of the nearby tribe Sifus to gain their support and take a side in the broiling conflict between the tribes. Okay. Right, okay. Uh, and these are tutorials, okay. And these are dialogues, okay. So, I don't know what Millie Mog wants me to do. Apparently, it's not a quest. Um, so, we have. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honour. They want to unite the tribes, defeat the World Eaters and save the Tree of Life. The Lotus tribe seek to build a perfect order. Regardless of how many are hurt in the process, they want to subdue the tribes and let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life. The Ankati. The Ankati believe that solidarity is what is needed to keep the world in balance. They want to unite the tribes, defeat the World Eaters, and save the Tree of Life. Jagni. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. 
They want to vanquish the tribes and let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life. Netra. The Netra tribe values liberty and strive to protect freedom. They want to separate the tribes, defeat the World Eaters, and save the Tree of Life. Hello, Nitrous. The Pico tribe supports natural evolution and the dogma that only the strong survive. They want to vanquish the tribes and let the world eaters destroy the tree. Uh, and Carti, uh, I believe that solidarity is what is needed to keep the world in balance. They want to unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters and save that. Yeah, okay, Niti has said that we're going with the Ankati. All right. Is that why you are... Oh. Uh... Greater good and code of honour. Greater good and code of honour. Keep the world in balance. See, I'm a, great, a believer of balance. Like, a person is equally good and equally evil. Their propensity for good and equal is in equal measure. Um... Uh, so, yes. Alright, fair enough. Keep saying gear. What do you mean gear? Oh, that's inventory. Tools. Consumables. We've got a lot of consumables. Okay. Uh, we're okay. We're alright. We're alive. We've had some bad news, but we're okay. Um, okay, so that's that. Character. Go to the Mutations tab to unlock Psi Powers, Biogenetics, and to upgrade your resistances. Okay. Mutations. Biogenetics. Um, to use Mothmouth, press the input where you have the ability to uh, bound the ability to while facing an enemy. This will infect a small humanoid enemy. Hit. Hold on, wait. This will infect. Oh, infect any small humanoid enemy hit. While infected, enemies will attack their allies instead of you. Okay. Vile bile. To use Vile Bile, press down the input you have bound to the ability to. Okay, you don't need to tell me that you need to press the input that I've bound the ability to. Just tell me. Fucking activate it. It will make you spew toxic slush in the direction you are facing, inflicting damage to all enemies hit. Okay. Bleh. Nope. Spark Ball. Spark Ball. Make you throw a ball in the direction you're facing, inflicting damage on the enemy you hit. Blaze. Uh, Blaze will launch you forward, leaving a trail of fire behind you. Ooh, burnings! Fire! Fire purifies all! Mm. Blink. To use Blink, press down the... Blah, 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 blah. You will teleport you in the direction you are moving and create a shockwave where you reappear. Okay. That's not bad as well. And resistance. Anti-heat, anti-cold, anti-radiation, anti-biohazards. And I'm assuming... Oh, it's 10%. Per, 10 Jesus. Okay. So we can make ourselves more resilient to different things. Well, we'll leave off on that one. Biogenetics. Um... Yeah, I don't really want to vomit on people. That just doesn't seem like my cup of tea. I don't really like the idea of putting weird things underneath things either. Um, storm hop. Okay. So jump in the air and slam. Mucus bubble. Okay. That sounds fucking disgusting. Jump, bounce, or roll over enemies to stick them to the bubble. If you press the bound input again, the bubble will burst and the attached enemy is discharged. <laughs> okay. Mud punch. Now that just... Um, no. 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 We will not be having that kind of behaviour on this channel. This is a, a, a family-friendly channel. It's not. Uh, right. Turtle form. I am now turtle form. Look at me go. Uh, 
Uh, turtle form while on it. So it doesn't actually do anything. You just slide down on your ass. Okay. Psi powers. Freeze. Oh, I like freeze. Oh, yes. Freeze is good. Nice. Levitate. Ooh. Levitating. I like. I like levitation. That's nice. Um, wait. Can I hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker? Oh, damn. I've got to be dark to get that one. Oh, you bastard. I want to hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. That means I've got to be a dark... But well, that's it. We've got to be evil. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not there anymore. Uh, uh, all enemies in front of you in range will get shocked and take damage. Okay, so that's basically... Taste my lightning, fuckers! There isn't one, apparently. Um, sky sparked. He's blah, 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 blah. Use the movement controls to move the impact marker. Press the bound input again to confirm the impact location. It can only be used when outside. Okay. Well. I'm going to use my bio points here. Uh, here and here. So, bio points, let's build our resistances up. I think. Right. Uh, I think I'm going to go with. Ooh, very cool, Nitrous. Very cool indeed. Um, right. Well, I've got lightning, so what I want is fire. Right. Um, X. So Y is zap them, X is burn them. Got it. Good, 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 good. Aura. I'm somewhat light. Next, you're in a balance. The two halves that complete a wholeness that flows through all things and can change as you make choices in dialogue and interact with captives and civilians throughout the game, meaning you'll gradually become stronger in your conviction. Well, how about I want to be fucking equal? You bastard. These choices and directions can award you with side points, can use child aura, blah, 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 blah. Um, you'll have... A separate score as a child, and the choices you make in those dialogues will affect your characters. How characters remember you as a child. Okay. Okay. So. No upgrade things. Nocturnal. Power damage ability attacks. Blah, blah, blah. Power damage. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go murder stuff. What are we doing? Ah, what's going on? Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What will it be? Uh. Fuck knows. Oh, I've got to choose one now, and that dictates. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, I think I'm going to go this way for now. I've got a save point, and that will be going back. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. Okay. Can I swim, or do I drown? Nope, I drown. Okay, cool. Good to know. My character does not look wet. They look weird. The hell is that? Hello?
Okay. Hello. You look weird. You're all very strange looking. Yeah. Yeah. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. Well, that's what happens when war happens. It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's like you'd, you'd think that when war happens that you didn't end up with everything looking like a war zone, but when war happens, it tends to look like a war zone. That's kind of the nature of war. I, I don't mean to be funny, mate, but that's what happens in war. If war didn't make things look like a war zone, it would be much better. Ooh, a small health pack. I'll take all. Thank you. Wee. Wee. All right. Fair enough. What are? you? Lightning. Taste my lightning, fuckers. Right. So let's head up this way. Why has my character gone blue now? They were originally purple. Now they're blue. I don't understand the colours in this game. It's doing weird things. Ah, uh, okay. Don't mind me, I'm like a ninja in the night. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Dream. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Oh, I see a flag I can go and wee on. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I do apologise, but this is not mine! Let's see. I now own this place. This place is now mine. See? I urinated on it. It's mine. I wonder if I can... Can I just, like... <laughs> Thank you, Game Daughter. That's very nice of you to say. <laughs> but no, I'm like... Can I not just, like, decide to just bugger off? And go and fight these things on my own. Ooh, Nitty's taking me to my happy place. She's making a cup of tea. Good I'll lord. Make, uh, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah, Nitty says there's tea in the kitchen for you, game daughter. Fortunately, there'll be a little DIY. To that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Hello. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Um, okay. Uh, says the Sifu decides who the Sifu wants to see, but is willing to let you give it a try. Okay. I am Pink Cuddly Panda, who has not brushed teeth in many years. I act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. Okay. Sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the world a better place. Oh, good luck, game daughter. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. Um, Great Wall? The wall? The wall that separates them from the other side? The wasteland you came from? He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. Well, that's a bit rude. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. 
Honor's flank your bit of wood of a hut. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. My Muma? Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons. The boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. Okay. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Okay. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. Okay. Ally with Myriad. They want to unite the tribes, defeat the world eaters and save the tree of life. Warning sets the game's end goal to save the Tree of Life. Choosing your destiny for defeated rival Sifus to limit, uh, is limited to unite or subdue. Alright, so I guess we're going down that path for the moment. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Coerce? The myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. <sighs> Wish there were another way. You need to take the struggle to the enemy, or the enemy will bring it to you. When survival is threatened, there's no other option left but war. War! He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. It, what is it good for? Um, video games and movies. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. You were all part of the same tribe once, but without your Muma there as a guide, the disciples turned on each other and formed their own tribes. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. You've told me this several times now. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, 
The memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember. Okay. So we have to go and take some stuff. Oh, exit the, exit the fort. Okay. Hello, folks. Bye-bye, folks. Hello. You're naked. Shine happy that the myriad can count on a friend as bright as you. Okay. Understands you have things to do. Stuff. Take all. Hello. You're naked too. Says it's better to be holed up somewhere safe than to wander around at night. Says goodbye to you. Okay, I mean, I mean, rock out with your cock out, mate. Have a good day. Why is everybody half naked from the waist down? It's weird. Put some clothes on, you weird creatures. Ooh, more free stuff. I'll take all of the free stuff I can get. Thank you all. Whoa. Ah, pants restrict your key. I see. Yep. Must be. Fair enough. Pass through the cave. Okay. Right, can I just hop to? Smash. Let's go down the road again. I'm on the road again. Here in my life, I'm on the road again. Playing a game for my wife, I'm on the road again. Hello? Ooh, hello. You look like things that might jump out and attack me. Come on then. Bullets everywhere. And smack. Okay. I knew there would be stuff here. Small health packs. I'm getting a lot of health packs. Like, a lot of health packs. It's a bit crazy with the health packs, to be honest. I, mean, I suppose I'll need them at some point, but it's a bit weird. And running doesn't seem to be any faster than walking. Is it me, or is it like... Maybe there's a bit of difference. Maybe I just need to level up agility, that's the problem. I don't know. It seems a little strange to me. Okay. Visit your childhood village. I must go to the childhood village and look at things. And reminisce. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit crazy. Like, it, it seems like, hey, you need health items. Here's some health items. Is there... Ooh, you're a big fella. Hello. Beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurled. Ooh, you shit.
Oh, you don't like electric. You lack key energy for that. Yes, I will cheese this fight. I am not opposed to cheesing fights. Get out of here. Hello, Dr. Alejandro. Dandy candy. Loot. Like, loot. Exactly. Loot. Ooh. That dude's murdered stuff from both sides. There's just a bunch of dead bodies around here. They murdered an awful lot of folks. Hold on, let's see... Uh, no, no, can't get up there. I might be able to later, once I've got Levitate. Uh, yeah. Yes, happy belated birthday. Yes, yeah, yeah. I hope your your birthday was incredible. Ha! <laughs> I mean, what? Ooh, more health packs. Like, I'm just gonna stop bloody searching stuff at this point. No, don't, because you signed that fight. They still got Ooh, I've got a level up. Sweet. All right. Mm, right. Um. What's the one that dictates your ranged damage? I'm not entirely sure I understand which, which there's one. Mm, okay. Um, More let's go grace to than ever. What's Ah, good. We have upgrade points. Um, let's go with. No. 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 Guns. Crane down. I'm never going to remember that. Two-faced Cobra Grip. Gun dual grip. Two different one-handed guns to dual wield them. Here. Perks. General. Uh, right. Okay. So I should have done that. I should have had a look at what stuff was available first. Never mind. I mean, the amount of healing is ridiculous in this. Visit your childhood village. Okay. Uh, Time is lost on this place, uh. but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. I'm sorry, it evokes a tingling sensation. Okay, well, maybe I should go and um, relieve that tingling sensation on this. Yep, there you go. Let's see. I have relieved my tingling sensation. Good. Good. You know, you should get medication for that. Yep, there's medication for that. As time passes, memories fade. 
and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Okay. Goop. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Better now that you asked. Goop says he always does better whenever he leaves failure behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. Mm -mm. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. I'd sure like to. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. Okay. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Uh, I'd be grateful. And he'll be honored. Well, that... You can swim in most waters, while in very deep water you slowly lose key energy, and when you're out of key, you drown. Ah, okay. Okay. So key is also like key is basically your stamina meter, and you are weird looking when you swim. Got it? He says that wasn't too bad, was it? I need to keep at it. Way to go! Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice, lots of practice. Um, or a better teacher. I'll keep trying. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. Yeah, you don't really swim. You just kind of flail in the water and kind of slowly make your, your way forwards just from the sheer sort of splashing that you're doing. A flail paddle, yes. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. Okay, I'll try harder to soak up your instructions. You can never try too hard. Uh, sure you can. If you go to the toilet and you try too hard, you could literally burst a blood vessel. Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot something. Um. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. Uh, I've been looking forward to it. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that one food. I is don't in your swim. Blood. I'm not very good at swimming. I swim really well on my back, but on my front, I swim like the Titanic after it's hit a fucking iceberg. I just sink. On my back, I can just go for days. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I could swim to America on my back, but on my front, I can't even make it like two feet. I just go bloop, 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 bloop. Dedication training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wing Fu is in your blood. Okay. You should know. Practice makes perfect. I'll train harder. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. Okay. She'll see you at the village square. Um, okay. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Okay. Let's go. Wang Fu training. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. Um... Better now, I'm talking to you. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. 
He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Okay, new quest, upcycling. Well, no, I've got, I've got to go and speak to my mom, don't I? Yep, always. He wonders what usefulness you found. Something old to make something new. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. I'm ready to get my hands dirty. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Okay. Crafting intro. Welcome to crafting. Here you can modify existing weapons or armors, or, if you're feeling creative, create entirely new weapons from scratch. With the right pieces, you can craft your own weapons. Nice. Start crafting your weapon. First, select the base that defines which kind of weapon you will craft. There are three different type kinds of melee weapon, crush, one-handed slash, and two-handed slash. There are weapons that weapons that take range damage. Right. Okay. Well, we'll go with stabby. Does it say... To the best of your knowledge. Uh... Well, where does it say what I've got? Let's go with Katana. Handle. Okay, I see it in the side there. did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. I made something for Muma. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. Yeah, Twitch is being a douche at the moment. I don't know what's going on with it. Keep sitting, reload player. I don't know, it's still coming through for you guys? you won't be needing it anytime soon. I'll ask Muma to s teach me to use it. Oh, hydrate. Thank you, Tart. Thank you. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. Okay. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Sorry I'm late. I was helping Gizmo. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. 
Come on in. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. I'll try hard. That's all she's ever asked of you. That you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Find my way there in the end. She worries about you. Sometimes you get lost in your own world, where the only thing that matters is you. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. I'm late for training. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. I'd rather be a nobody than you. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do, and that includes you. I didn't realise that was a fucking quick time event that I had to fucking hammer the button for. Fucking piece of shit. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? We should invite them to train. She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. I must get stronger than my excuses. You won't need excuses if you are strong in your conviction. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit that they don't tell you there's going to be these fucking stupid quick time events. Like, that shit pisses me off. I hate quick time events. Like, I was in the middle of fighting that dude and then suddenly it's a fucking quick time event. I thought it was a cutscene. Like, fuck off. That. I'm not going to enjoy that at all. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. <laughs> Seeing you always puts a smile on your popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. Something is wrong. <laughs> He knows growing up is hard, and things will continue to go wrong as you become older and figure out how to make them right. <laughs> very wise. <laughs> he asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for training. If you tell Moma... He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. Why are you there? He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Oh my god. Oh, 
Now I get to craft some armor, I'm assuming. He's curious to see what you found. Something familiar to renew. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Thinks some are and some aren't. One thing's for sure, though, your Mooma thinks it all takes up too much space in the house. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. When loading, you'll find add-ons. These can be crafted onto an item to increase the stats of the item. To upgrade armor and clothing with items, select a slot and uh, add-on and then press X. Okay, well, let's start with the back. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. I like it anti-fashioned. Agrees. At least that way it'll never go out of style. Mm -hmm. Can't go out of style if you were never in you style to begin you. with. Wear it to practice. Ja. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Okay, can I get to training now? Because... Right, clearly this is some bullshit. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Easily distracted. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. I don't fear failure, I'll learn eventually. Thank you, OD. Hydrating now. As long as you keep learning. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. I'll try harder next time. That's all she's ever asked of you. Enjoy your lurk, Cody. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Mini Ninjas. Mm-hmm. It's very weird. The game dialogue's very weird in this. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. How thoughtful of him. Says he's always thought so well of you. Just like her. Whoa! Hey, buddy. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. What an effort it must have been. She's happy you appreciate what others do for you. 
A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. Okay. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Will it record what happens to me? Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. I could do with one of them. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. But what a day it's been. She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Yuka Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Yeah, I don't like these quick time events. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Never a fan of quick time events in games. Mm. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Looper Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Why is it here? He wants to destroy her. The time to fight is coming whether she's ready for it or not. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. Fight by your side. She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Oh, you prick! Why are you going after me, you bastard? Go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. Yeah, I don't like these cutscenes. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Yeah, this the, the cutscenes suck. Okay, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, this is fucking stupid. It says go here, so I started going there, and then it's like, no, you're drowning now. I'm like, oh. Fucking goddamn.
I, I could have made that anyway. I don't know why it... Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. I really don't like these cutscenes. And they, the creature they is hit on the button. For more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. Doesn't register quick enough? Like, I was hammering that button as fast as if I could, and it barely registered. someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Okay, so I, I'm not entirely sure I like the cutscenes in this. You can now craft weapons and modify your gear in the crafting menu. Okay. The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. got nothing left. You're not dead yet. Hello, Sassy. You gave them no choice but to take it down, even though they planned to take the Fluff Hulk out to the far Fnacky leaves and let it go. They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to Hello, meeting. how are you doing, Sassy? How's it going? Oh, it's not doing shout outs again. Stupid thing. 
Let me see if I can do something about that. One moment. Uh, Cloudbot, why are you being a douche? Okay. Try it now. See if that works. There we go. Stupid Cloudbot. Sorry about that, Sassy. Cloudbot's being a douche, not working, but how are you? How are you doing, you beautiful lady? Hope everyone was enjoying Shadow of the Colossus. Did you manage to get out from where you were stuck when we got there? How are you guys getting on? How's the game going? We are in the middle of playing um, this weird game. And there are things that I don't like about it. Uh, for sure. I, I like it. It seems like fun. But there's definitely things I really dislike. And uh, quick time events in cutscenes is one of them. I don't enjoy that stuff at all. They've received news of Ronan's strength of their ranks. And they're looking forward to meeting you. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. Dungeons. You should maybe. hurry there and help them best the outpost. Is it far from here? Not really. It's west of Bricktown. You can spot Gizmo's chugyard from the hill it resides on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Save, save. Character. Uh, let's go for... We could do with... More power. Aha! I have more power! Alright, so Wang Fu, close combat, unarmed, blow nose. No. Okay, ranged combat, dual wield. Okay. No. I'm never going to remember any of this stuff. I will never remember any of this. Your loot chance has increased with 10%. Your chance to persuade in dialogue is increased by one point. Your biological mounts have 5% increased move speed. After a successful special attack to replenish some of your key in there, Virginia. Okay. Lurk away, Polly. Thank you so much for being a wonderful lurker. We love our workers, lurkers, and twerkers in this place. I did. Thank you. You forgot your tea. Nitty. You should remember your tea, young Padawan. Okay. Okay, so we're slowly making our way. Ah. Cool. Well, look after yourself, sir. Toxanol was something called a corporate juggernaut, and our world still bears the marks of the massive ecological catastrophes they inflicted upon the land. The apocalypse they caused was the end of days for their world. But for us, it was simply a beginning. Mm hmm Okay. Look, an emergency box from the old days, when you needed to pack a punch to survive. Wow, <laughs> bet that nut makes a tight fist. Old world clonk fist. You found a clonk fist. This powerful tool can be used to punch through walls. 
It can even be used as a weapon. It can be equipped from the gear menu. Okay. Use the clonk fist to smash through the wall. You need to have it equipped and then hold and release right bumper. like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? Hitting an enemy with special attacks fills one of the Super Wung, Wung Fu icons to the left of your character. When the all icons are filled, you can activate the Super Wung Fu state. You need to use different special attacks to fill up the icon. Okay, lovely. That's probably very, very old. Brick! <laughs> Great, got a brick. Da, watch out! I've got a brick! I can see what I want now, I've got a brick! Oh my god. Ooh, hello. That's a notice board. Bricktown. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place, and then just threw it away when they were done with it. They threw away whole cities. Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days, and there was plenty of space. Get done with one place, you just build another. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Okay. Well, I'll do that another time, but first I want to go this way. I'll break that wall down. Okay. Ooh, I've received a Captain Mongol. Sure. I don't think I've got a hat on. I've got a hat on now, though. Yeah, I have a hat. Okay. A tumbly drum. Okay. Healing? Healing. A banana. Banana? Banana! Wait. Banana is a weapon? What? How is a banana a weapon? I have no idea. That's just ridiculous. Don't mind me, I'm just going to beat you up with my banana. That just yes, I'm going to whip out my banana and beat you with it. There's nothing you can do now. You fools, you have fallen for my banana. 
No, that's not the button. Oh, come on. That's a wall that you can break. No, alright. It's not a wall you can break. I'm going to whip out my banana and beat you. History is nothing but a series of stories. A flush stool from the back in time. It's an apparatus that sink sunks yellow juice and brown bobs. Let's try out the brush away. See if you can off chase some drip droppings. Um, okay. Seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Okay. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. So, I... Mm, okay, I just picked up some armor from the toilet. Okay. Sure. I mean, who doesn't want to wear armor you find in the toilet? I mean, this corner of the world is called Bricktown. Well, you get pissed in the toilet for some reason. Hmm. Yep. Hello, Bricktown. Ooh. Okay, little fella. What is it? What are we expecting? You're expecting a fight? Is there a fight? You found the track. Amazing it wasn't destroyed. I did? What did it do? So much of this place was just discarded. Lucky the track somehow made it. Was this ever nice? No, it was never nice. It was new once, but that's not nearly the same thing. Just being new never lasts. Yep. The tracks moved on from Bricktown, and you should too. Okay, have a level up point. I have reached level five. Wood jaw. Okay. Ooh. A recatana. Nice. Health pack. Nice. I mean, sure. Hello. We're all heroes of our own stories, or so we hope. Right, health patch in the, 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 the thing. Cool. Would you look at that? A fry sparker from the back in time. Hardware that fix cooked provisions. Try it out. See if it still works. Looks like the fry sparker's knobs need to be in sync if you want to get the hardware working. Okay, so that needs to go like that. That needs to go like that. I need to go like that. No. It's a fry sparker mindset. Boom! You got something. It's not exactly what you wanted, but you got it right away. <laughs> okay. A necro rock. A necro proc. Neck proc. Okay. Well, it's not as good as the one I've got. So we'll keep that. Thanks. I have no idea if I have a carry limit or not. And that's not as good. Hold on a minute. Aha! Nothing? Oh. I thought I'd, I'd done something. Well, I mean... Hello? A 
am I supposed to be able to get out this far? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, whoopsie! I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm looking around! There's a lot of stuff, and I want to steal it's it all. It's so active out here, with the light. Oh, it's active with the light. Come to the light. Okay. Ooh, a hub club. Jesus, level eight needed. Okay, I was gonna say the damage is a little bit fucking obscene, but yeah, okay. Oh yeah, just urinate on this pole. It's mine Let's now. See. It's mine now. I've urinated on it. You can't have it. I've urinated here. Clearly mine. This game is very strange. A tumbly drum. Okay. Never thought I'd see a clothes soaker from the long gone again. It's an up cleaner of unwash, the clean cut way to unstain garb. You need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes soaker rolling. Okay, so that way. Just a few moves left. Make them count. All right. All right. You really put a spin on it. Ooh, that one's better. Yep. A stylish quick. cover for your brains. Yeah, I'll take that. So free stuff is always welcome. Hello? Free stuff? Hello? A click click. Cool. I'll take a click click. Every day, everything seems like it happens at once. A pipe rasp. Okay. Is there a carry limit? Or do I just infinitely carry shit? Here. Did I just open this door for no reason? No. Okay. Cool. Free stuff. A uh, Koryu. Not as good, but I'll take it. Yeah. A Mongol. Okay. A spiked Krause. Okay. Bed! Yay! Got a bed! Alright. Well, I claim this in the name of me. In case anyone hasn't already, it's now mine. I think it's, it's only fair. I mean, I got here and urinated on it first. I'm sure there's lots of stuff to pick up here, but let's carry on and... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, an Oxymastodont. Small health pack. Okay. An Oxymastodont. Uh, sure. You have to lie down for a little bit. Your eyes are sore. Okay, I'll... Um, stop there then. No worries, Nikki. If your eyes are getting sore, we shall stop. Let me uh, just have a quick snoop. Every day is a new chance to fulfill your destiny. Ticks. Okay, so that's a ranged thing. Alright. Now, I don't know, maybe. But here we go, here we go, here we go. So, I think I'm going to boost agility this time. Grace. Okay. We have agility, darling. 
When you find a new weapon type, you will be able to spend upgrade points to unlock special attacks for that weapon type. There you go. Um, Wicked Wolf, 200 melee chain. Okay, so that's... Perks, General... Uh, after a successful special attack, replenish some of your key energy. The, I'm assuming these developers aren't English because, like, after a successful spe special attack, to replenish some of your key energy. That's not quite how that should be said, but okay. Um, aura, okay, mutations, let's see. Um,. No, Psy powers, so I haven't got any Psy points, let's just get our resistances up then. Um, let's get cold. Okay. Right. Alright, then... Go to craft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to crafting gear. What the? Oh, these are ones that I've got. Okay. Huh? Well, yeah, we do. We'd love your face. I don't understand more. how you could do without this. Okay, so that's the sell price of that thing. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Okay, so if we go can't modify. Okay. Ah. So I've just strapped a sole of a boot onto my trousers. Because, you know, why wouldn't you? Okay, hold on. Okay. Ah, uh, I think, I think, I think I understand what's going on here. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> go to mess with my weapons then. Mm -hmm. I'll be finished. I'm, I'm going to ride out now. Maybe. Sorry, I just wanted to have a look at that lock before we head on. Okay, so that's the one. Yes, override that one. Alright, so we are level 5. And... That was our first look at um, Biomutant.
there's things I like about it. There's things I don't like about it. But I want to thank each and every person for dropping by and joining us tonight. Uh, sorry it was a short look. Nitty's eyes started hurting, so we have to stop. Uh, thank you so much to uh, Tartnisha for her incredible modding, as always. To Cruel Nation Gaming, Game Daughter, Strange Little Tart, Ivan Lift, Strange Little Tart, thank you for the um, assistance and um, uh, suggestions. Divine Panda, Valkyrie, 365, Rockwa, Realism Games, Summer of Corn, Skill Free Gaming, uh, aka Vandal, I believe. Uh, Nitrous Oxide System, Dr. Alejandro89, Operator Death, Sassy Melodica, thank you so much for the incredible raid. You guys are amazing. Um, Link of Hyrule and OG Ruckus. And we're going... If anyone has got anyone they would like me to raid, let me know. If not... Um, I... Uh, I just... I don't know. Does anyone have anyone that they'd like me to raid? I don't really, um, I mean, I've got uh, Ruckus, Stormfall TV, Realism Games, Heavy Lift, or Labats on my list of people who are online at the moment, but that's it. I mean, I suppose we could just ra raid someone random, but uh, if you guys have anyone you'd like me to uh, raid, let me know. If not, we shall go and raid out to someone on my list randomly either way thank you so much for dropping by you guys are awesome um take care look after yourselves stay safe and as always be good and if you can't be good well um don't give the ugly what's it's our jimmy jimmy changas because i just weird goobly gook and gobbledy doubles in this game it's very strange um i think we'll probably return to it but um i have no idea uh either way join me as we i guess no one's got any choice uh, on who they'd like to raid so i'm going to choose let's bring the raid to who have i not raided for a while um Labats. He's playing Resident Evil Village. We'll go and say hello to Labats. Uh, so from one very good narration to another, let's go and say hello to Labats. Till next time, take care, look after yourselves, stay safe, and as always, be good. Peace.